Hello everybody, how you doing? We parry from across the shock. A strange title for a video, isn't it? I've had a strange morning of thinking. I was, I was trying to just decide what video I wanted to do today. And I'm going to do that more often now where I just pick something that's in my head and then do a video about it. I think that's what, I'm, what I enjoy the most when it's not scripted and I'm not doing all these precise measurements I, I i don't get i can go on and find their measurements on any of the the shopping channels or you know big stores so i get excited when i can just talk about the, the knife that's in front of me and this is gonna these other knives are gonna follow on after i've talked about this knife a 10 pound knife an under 10 pound knife why bother reviewing it why bother reviewing an under 10 pound knife because it's blooming good. <laughs> because, like, there's only one thing, really, when you break it all down, there's only one thing that you buy a knife for. The one thing you buy a knife for, it cuts. Right? And it holds an edge long enough to get you through a couple of bits and pieces that you're going to do during an every day. That's what we do. Work knives are different. I'm just talking about a wee pocket knife that you carry in life. It's there for a reason, and it's called a pocket knife for a reason. It's just a pocket knife. It's just for cutting. It's, that's all it's there for, to cut bits of string, to cut, you know, zip ties, whatever. So a £10 knife. There's a lot of people that have budgets for £10 knife. But there's also a lot of people like me who just like a nice knife. And this is white bone, nickel silver bolsters, 440A steel, sharpens great, holds an edge reasonably long for what I need. And you have to verify that's for what I need. It holds an edge fairly long. This is a beautiful, beautiful knife. And I'm going to talk about it more. It's a little Rough Rider. Comes in a tiny little box for the tiny little price. But it's got two blades. It's a canoe pattern, as you can see. Isn't that beautiful? Well, tell me what is wrong with this as I turn it around. Look at that. Is that perfect? No, but it's absolutely fine. It's brass liners. It's just a lovely, lovely pin construction. What's it like when it's open? There you go. Does the blade wobble? Next to nothing. And I mean next to nothing. Beautiful long swedge, matchstick strike. Now, this is under £10. Under £10. Match strike pull. It tells you what the blade is. It tells you who the manufacturer is. What a gorgeous little knife. And here's the important part. Does this knife cut? Yes, it cuts absolutely wonderful. And it holds that edge for a reasonable amount of time. You know, so... That's why I review cheap knives. That's why I review cheap knives. And I'd like to take the word away. This is value. This is not cheap. This is value. If, if all you want is a little a, a knife to put in your pocket, your fifth pocket even, some people don't even want to carry a bigger knife. That's the standard of knife, or that's the size of knife, I should say, that they want to carry. What a lovely little knife to bring out and cut anything, you know. Anything at all. If you're in an office setting, if you're a lady, if you're a man who just has the jeans and likes a wee knife just to carry about. And I mean, yes, you've got all sorts of different brands, but there's very few that are under £10 that are good value. And that's what I tend to stick with. I, I, I like knives that are good value. This is an absolute, look at that wee pen blade. It's lovely. On the other side. There we go. It was a spear, pen, whatever you want to call it. Let me give you the size of this wee knife. One, two, three, four, four and a half with a cutting edge of one and three quarters. Cutting edge of one and three quarters. That will do most things in my day. Do you know what I mean? It's not the only knife I'll carry. It will be one of two, maybe even three. In fact, let's be honest, it's usually three with me because I always have one of my set of key rings. So I'll have a small knife on there, I'll have a small knife in my pocket usually, and then I'll carry a bigger knife, or a bigger uh, traditional knife. Whatever takes my fancy, and that's the joy. It's whatever takes my fancy. Oh, sorry, by the way. My hinderer decided to bite me. I was tightening the little screw on this here, and I forgot this was a slip joint. So I was holding it like this, tightening the screw, pushed to tighten it, and closed the blade in my hand. So there you go. 
do you get wiser as you get older? Not really, no. <laughs> so I haven't been bit for ages, and it was a real good bite. It was a good deep bite, just as I was about to film. So I'll change that plaster and, and do it properly afterwards. But the joys of playing with your knives. Um, but this little knife, let's get back to it. For under £10, you can't go wrong. I'm sorry, you just can't. It's a beautiful little knife to throw in a fifth pocket if you want to carry a bigger knife and have something you can take out. And especially probably in the UK and Europe when we have this stupid laws. I know there's some of the states in America are the same. And I'm not sure about Australia, Canada, but we have stupid laws over here. So having a little knife like this on you to bring out, not because it's decorative, not because it's cheap, but because it's a knife and you can bring it out and that's going to frighten nobody. This little, little, look, there is it closed. It is two and three quarter inches closed. Just that little canoe is not going to scare anybody. So for us over here in Europe, it's a handy little knife to bring out if you just want to do a simple cut. You can have this knife buried, well, they can't, that's illegal. You can have this knife buried in your pocket to do any other task and this will do any other task but this little 10 pound knife i would say if you were to go through your average day that'll get most of your work done and do you want to know something you see if it does dull if you're using it quite a lot maybe you're opening up quite a few boxes you take your belt off and strap it in the back of your belt and you will bring the edge back and i think i'll do a wee video on that actually bringing edges back with your belt it's so easy I, I, I spray diamond spray on the back of my belt and I just bring it out. When I take it off, I can strop on the back of my belt if I need it. Do you know, I think I've only ever done it once and I think I was showing somebody rather than the actual need for it. But it's nice to know it's there. Especially if you're going to carry a knife with a lesser steel. It's nice to know you have that option just to strop it back again. And 440A that Rough Rider use, and a lot of the other companies that make the cheaper knives, the more budget-friendly, use 440A. It's great for stropping. Absolutely great. So, yes, I'm going to continue to review little knives like this. You just look at the fit and finish on that bone. I mean, I have no idea... Are the blades centered? Not particularly. They're a little bit off, but not much. And that's why a traditional, you don't need to be so picky when you've got the budget range. When I go up to this standard, a GEC, a Tom's Choice Barlow, I expect it to be, you know, perfect in every way because I'm going to spend a large lump of money on something like that. And so why do I? Why do I? Let's go through. I mean... That one's a little ten dollar knife. This one's a third well a ten pound knife. This is a thirty pound knife. There you go. What well, you know why would I go up? Because this is a bigger knife. So there's a there's a I can carry these two together and I don't have to bring this big scary pointy thing out and scare them sheeple out there. Let's go up to the sixty say you know, sixty pound knife. There's a lovely boker, beautiful barlow, absolutely lovely. Bit of a bigger blade, four forty C Great work knife, an absolute gem of a knife. So why would I spend that much? Because it's a better knife, you know. It is a better knife. It's bigger. It's more. It's more useful as an EDC knife. This is just a pop out and do small cuts whenever you want them, and save you a good blade for when you actually need it. And I think that's what I would use this. I keep using this rather than bringing this out. I'll use this until it's blunt. And that, this is going to be, at the, the latter part of the day, I'm going to have a really sharp knife to get me through to the end. So why on earth would I spend well over £100 on something like this, a Tom's Choice Barlow, a GEC? Why would I spend that when I can get a £10 knife? Because it's beautiful. It's made, it's Coca-Cola Coca Coca wood. It is, not Coca-Cola. It's a dark wood, anyway. Um, ebony, sorry, ebony wood. It is beautifully made. It is just a, a design pattern that just really just turns me on. Simply, the top shirt bar, as a barlow, it turns me on. It is the one that gets me going. I love it. So I buy that because I love it. It's a great knife. It will work. You know, it's not going to get much sharper than this, 
but it will work and it's a beautiful it's a joy to carry i don't want to damage this when i'm out so i'll use this do you know what i mean it means i can carry this rather than leaving it in my box and doing nothing with it if i take this out and a budget friendly knife that's good knife that's good it is a good knife it's budget but it's good if i take this with me i don't have to damage this doing cuts on stuff that might wreck the blade it's too dear. It's too dear. Now, yes, if I could afford it and and use it all the time, yeah, I probably would. And and to be honest with you, it probably will come to that. At the minute, I'm just liking it, carrying it, but taking a budget knife with me. This knife is worth as much as that because it saves that. Does that make any sense? Am I? Sometimes I think I'm just talking to myself. This knife is worth as much as that five hundred pound Medford. Because it saves this. It saves me bringing this out. There's, there's no reason why I would want to cut a box if I thought there was staples and all in it when I've got a really nice knife that's an expensive knife. So the value, the £10 value of this goes up because it'll save knives like this. You know, it'll save knives like this. This is a work knife. So I'm not worried about the saving so much. But I mean, this is, you know, at the high end of 100 because it's M390 steel. You know, it's a, this will just do everything I ever want to. It's like, a, it's like my high end beater. But to bring that out, I can't do it. I can't bring that out because it scares people. And you have to be aware of the people around you. They're not all knife lovers. They listen to the news. All they ever hear about, sheep will hear news that's bad about knives. The knives are the demon. Not the person holding them. The knives are the demon. Knives is wrecking our society. It's not. It's flaming people who use them wrongly. Knives don't wreck anything. They're inanimate objects. They just lie there. A human has to pick them up. So, again, this stops scaring them people. Although... They shouldn't be scared. We've let society get that way. But this £10 knife, under £10 knife, from Heine, by the way, and you get this kind. <laughs> so this under £10 knife is as valuable as any one of these when you think of it because it saves them from work that you don't want to wreck their knives. But it's also letting you carry knives. You know, I'm in the UK. I can carry this. But you see, if I brought this out in a shopping centre, I reckon if there was a policeman near me, he'd pull his gun on me straight away. Because people are just not used to it. Although it's legal, perfectly legal for me to do so. This covers every legal fact over here. But if I pulled it out in a restaurant to cut my steak and somebody seen it, they'd ring the police. There's people out there who will do that. So this $10 knife... Ten pound knife. If I brought it out and cut a bit of steak with it, it wouldn't bother anybody, would it? It just wouldn't bother anybody. So, what's the value of the knife? The value is like every other knife in my collection that I keep. I enjoy it. It's a nice wee knife. It's easy to sharpen. It costs nothing. If I lose it, I'll not give a second thought to it, other than the fact that oh, there's a tenner down the drain. And be annoyed at that. But it'll not kill me because I'll just order another one. Or I have other ones in, in, in there that I can. I mean, I have plenty of these. I mean, you don't have to just have one. I have them because I like them. Not because of their usefulness only. They're useful, yes. But I have them and I collect them because they're just useful. They're just useful. Now, have I gone on long enough about it? There's a wee knife that I highly recommend. The wee Rough Rider Canoe, an absolutely great pattern. But that's the mini one. It's a wee toady one and it's great for your fifth pocket. And it can save your more expensive knives. Because I do like more expensive knives as much as I like these. But I haven't changed because all of a sudden I'm getting high-end knives. Doesn't mean, and high-end knives over here, it doesn't mean that I've gone off my budget. Far from it. This is more important now because I have the likes of this. I can take this out and save this, but it means I can carry this. And if I have to use it, there's no problem using it. But if I want to cut a bit of meat up, I'll keep my blade steel. This is carbon steel. 
So this will patina. I mean, a lot of my knives, I let patina and I use. But if I'm out now, I need to cut something hot. I'll use this. Or a bit of fruit. I'll use this. When I'm carrying that knife. Or other knives of that elk. So there you are. It's a £10 knife. Is it worth it? It is absolutely worth it. It is absolutely worth it. And that's why I collect this range of knives from $10 or £10 to £500. It, it doesn't matter. They're all knives. They all there for a reason. The fact that I'm fortunate enough, or was last year anyway, to buy some more expensive high-end knives, that, that's, and this is, I only just got this as well. That was great to me. And it's, it's been a joy and I've enjoyed and I don't regret spending that much money on that knife at all. I have no guilt. I have no guilt whatsoever. It's, it's a joy. It's in my collection. It's lovely. This, no guilt, joy. This, no guilt, joy. It's the same reason. It's just a knife I like. I love budget. I love all the rest. But I love the fact that this $10 knife can save my $150 knife. And let me carry it with with more confidence than not having it. So it has a role in my collection. That's just me. Other people will not do not think like that. But for me, that saves some of my good knives from getting damaged or getting chipped or getting, you know, wearing away. That's this is what these are just so good for. But to be honest with you, if you've just got a collection of rough riders in their different things. You've got an amazing collection, and I would love to see it. Please put it up. If you've got cheap knives, put them up. Tell me why you like them. I like this because I get two blades that are absolutely, they've got half stops. <laughs> they've got matchstick strike pulls. It looks like an expensive knife. I know if I put that down to a complete stranger and say, there you go. What do you think the price difference is in them two? A stranger is not going to know there's that, the, the price difference, $10, $150. They're, they're just not. They're just not going to know. And that's the joy of it. That is the joy of a budget knife. To us, yes, I know it's a budget knife. Yes, if I pick one up, I'll tell you it's a budget knife. But most people outside don't know. It's just a nice looking little knife. Right, I seem to have made my point, have I? <laughs> Let me know down below. I know you will. Take care, Paddy's gone. Come on, tea time!